Hi, this is Vijay Bambani and I welcome you in this video of the Fast Profits Daily. I hope you're enjoying uh, uh, the markets and trading the markets, even though the volatility, of course, has been a big challenge, as I have been mentioning on Equity Masters uh, Telegram channel, which you hopefully would have joined by now. And if you haven't, I strongly urge you to do so. It has uh, uh, the Equity Master official as an handle, which you can search on Telegram and join ASAP. I put up a lot of stuff there and uh, post market late evenings based on my statistical data model, which helps you become a better trader. And, and I assure you, you will be better off for it. Now, this video and why am I recording this video? What's it all about? This is about uh, a, a subject that uh, is very close to my heart. It touches me. It excites me. It keeps me alive at night. And it's something that I'm very, very passionate about. It's about trading, creating trading systems, training other people to trade and becoming a better trader in the bargain through this give and take of ideas, learning from each other and teaching others. It is said that if you want to learn something well, start by teaching it to somebody else. The, the psychological consciousness that you are being benchmarked, you are being watched and people will basically uh, try and evaluate you, keeps you on your toes, keeps you on the edge and in the bargain, you yourself become a better trader. That works for me and I get very excited when I get opportunities to go and talk to young college uh, students, universities, uh, brokerage firms, mutual funds or even individual traders. There's so much to learn, there's so much to teach and so many ideas to exchange and in the bargain I've made a lot of very good traders as personal friends who I keep in touch since many years. And one of the questions that has been uh, 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 put forth in my social media accounts in uh, the comment section here and in a couple of videos in which I have talked about trading systems is why don't you record videos on how to create better trading systems, how to segregate stocks, how to finalize stocks, what are, uh, 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 what are your blueprints for trading success? So this video, my dear friends, is all about how to create a good trading system. Now, there are two aspects to it, the quantitative and the qualitative. And by now, you know that I uh, believe in the 360 degree worldview approach, which means a very well-rounded, holistic approach towards anything in the financial markets. So I'm going to tell you a holistic method of creating a good trading system. Now the quantitative or the material and the broad aspects of the trading system, it should be well rounded. It should work both in a bull and bear market. You know, unlike a fair weather friend who's only with you during your good times, a trading system cannot be a, a bull market centric or a bear market centric trading system. You should be able to put food on your table for your family through bullish and bearish times. So it must create to both market aspects. It should be simple to understand. It should be simple to program and it should be simple to teach. Now, when I was writing articles for many uh, newspapers uh, at uh, uh, one point in time between uh, 2000 to 2012, I used to run regular columns in various pink papers. One of my editors told me that the trick to being a good writer is if you go back home and give the newspaper to your domestic help and if they read it and understand what you're trying to convey through it, you have succeeded as a writer because you must write very simply, yet you must not sacrifice the accuracy and the point that you're trying to make. A trading system is intending to do only these three things. Earn the most amount of money in the shortest possible time and with the least amount of risk. And if you can make that simply, nothing like it. So it must be simple. It must be scalable. By scalable meaning, it should not work only on one lot or 200 or 500 shares. It must work equally well with 50, 500, 5,000 lots because each trader has his or her unique pocket size, risk appetite and quantum of trading. 
there are some traders who if i told to do uh, 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 only one lot of nifty trade per uh, uh, transaction they would simply lose interest and say look i'm not here to pick pennies this is not me there are others who if i tell to trade more than five lots at a time would simply lose their mind and say look this is a kind of stress that i can't take so the trading system must be scalable it must focus on very liquid counters for example in the fno space the nifty 50 futures are the most liquid counters on the nse period you can get in and get out with 500 lots in a few seconds without damaging the price too much the risk reward ratio must be high so uh, for every rupee that you are willing to lose in a drawdown or a trade which gives you losses you must make at least two and a half rupees as potential profits in the winning trade which means your losses gross losses should not exceed more than 40 percent of your gross profits by gross i mean before brokerage taxes and other execution costs and the trade efficiency ratio must be at least 3x if not higher now uh, the trade efficiency ratio is a phrase i have coined myself it basically means that your net profit after all execution costs commissions and taxes vis-a-vis all the execution costs commissions and taxes so what i mean is if you are paying 1000 rupees per day in brokerage stt gst etc etc your profit must be 3000 bucks which means your trade efficiency ratio is three times more than the costs that you are incurring and therefore your trade efficiency ratio is termed as 3x so try to make a trading system which will identify or allow you to trade only those trades where the trade efficiency ratio is at least 3x focus on a trading system that gives you consistent profits rather than big numbers big numbers could mean <clears throat> You make 1 lakh rupees one day, lose 90,000 on the other. Make 1 lakh 20,000 on day 3, lose 1 lakh 10,000 on day 4. You know what? In all these 4 days of trading, you've taken home only 20,000. You were better off in a trading system which gave you 5,000 rupees. Hypothetically, I know you can't make money each day like clockwork. But hypothetically speaking, in an example, a trading system that allows you to make 5,000 rupees per day peacefully over four days, giving you 20,000 is better than making 1 lakh losing 90,000, making 1 lakh 20, losing 1 lakh 10. That kind of stress will make you old. It will give you back aches, neck aches, heart attacks, high blood pressure and cut down your staying power in the markets. Believe me, I know this is my 35th year of trading in the markets. Now I come to the qualitative aspect. Now this is actually the heart of the trading system. Now your trading system must throw or yield all kinds of solutions for all types of trading sessions. There are some trading sessions where the markets open in one direction and continue to trade in that direction. There are the others where the market opens in one direction, trades there for maybe first 10, 15, 20 minutes and reverses direction and there you see it after a bearish opening, a completely bull closing or vice versa. Does it mean that your trading system should only yield money in one type of trading session? No, because your family will demand food on the table three or four times a day, irrespective of the kind of market that you are encountering. So the trading system should be an all weather friend. These are the critical components or the moving parts of a good trading system, 10 of them which all trading systems worth their money should have without fail. It should have momentum following technology, which means if you're following a trend and the trend is up, it gets you in the trade reasonably well early and allows you to ride a major part of the move. That means you're going with the flow. It should also have contrarian technology or what we traders call fade plays. When you're fading a move, you're actually going in the opposite direction of the present move because you're betting 
that the price will reverse. If the market is upwards, it will go down. And if the market is downwards, it will reverse and go up. Because you need to make money both in reversing as well as trending markets. Your number three requirement is that the trading system should also have mean reversion techniques built in. By mean reversion, I mean if prices are running away in one direction, they can come back to the mean or the statistical average price. Take for example, again a hypothetical example, you have a 25 day moving average and the price which is trending above and below the 25 day moving average. Now the price shoots up. Where do you think the price will reverse from and revert back towards the moving average? Believe me, whenever the markets reverse, people who have mean reversion techniques in their trading system tend to make a lot of money, a huge amount of money. So this tool must definitely be a part of, a, of, of your armory. Number four, it should have cycle time measuring techniques. Markets tend to move in cycles. Your derivative uh, series are uh, valid for four weeks. Mutual funds tend to prop up their NAVs at the end of every quarter. FIIs tend to want the markets to go up towards December because the fund manager goes to his respective uh, parent country to collect his performance bonus through that uh, calendar year for monies invested in India. There are cycles in the market and I have recorded ample videos if you go back in time in this same playlist. I have broken down the market into a, a decade of the century, year of the decade, month of the year, week of the month, day of the week and hour of the day. It is possible to do that. So your trading system must be able to break down the session into cycle times. So that's point number four. Point number five, you must without fail have incorporated something that allows you to quantify or put in numbers screen reading techniques. If you can't read the screen in front of you, which basically tells you that the flow of money is going upwards or downwards, believe me, you're trying to swim with your hands tied behind your back using only your legs. You're going to be half the trader. You can be at peak performance potential if you do not know how to read the screen. Number six, it must have technical analysis and especially anchoring techniques. Anchoring would mean a very simple thing. If you were to drive a nail in the wall and take a piece of string and uh, a pencil attached to it, you can draw a circle by allowing uh, the pencil to go as far away from the nail as uh, the string allows you and draw a perfect circle. So that nail is the anchor and the, the uh, pencil is basically going as far away as the string allows it. So you must have technical analysis with anchoring in the price, which tells you where the support, where the resistance is, where the price can go the furthest away in the uppermost and the lowermost direction before it reverts back to mean. Point number seven, you must have trading techniques for two types of markets. High beta, high impetus markets, wherein the markets really move very large uh, 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 price uh, uh, points. And even if you were to buy 200 to 500 shares of the stock, you're made. And there are some days when the market refuses to budge. To make 5,000 rupees for that particular trading session, you might have to trade 1,000, 2,000 shares, maybe 5, maybe 8, maybe 10 times during the day. So high beta, high impetus. High impetus means large price moves. You must have trading techniques for high beta, high impetus days. You must have trading techniques for low beta, low impetus days. So high beta wants 500 shares, wait for 10 rupee moves. Low beta, low impetus means buying 5,000 shares, waiting for a smaller 1 rupee price move to make that same 5,000 bucks. Believe me, these are not the same. 
the risk reward ratio, the effort, the stress involved is completely different. And unless you know the difference, you're not even going to get there. Point number eight, it must have at least one chaotic attractor built in. Now, if you observed any smoker smoking in a closed room without the fan on, you will realize that the minute he takes the cigarette off his lips, the cigarette is actually giving out a, a, a plume of uh, smoke. And that smoke tends to generally go in a wavery fashion, but accumulate at the ceiling at roughly, I'm saying roughly at the same point. Why? That point in the ceiling where the smoke is going and hitting it is called the chaotic attractor as per quantum physics studies. Take for example, your lightning rods or your lightning conductors. Why have tall buildings and historical monuments built lightning conductors? Because uh, a, a bolt of lightning trends to concentrate and hit very sharp objects which are metallic and grounded to the earth so that electricity can reach the earth. Now that point on the lightning conductor is the chaotic attractor. If you Google search, there is enough material out there to know how to program chaotic attractor codes into your trading system. You must have at least one chaotic attractor, if not two. It must have a bionic component. Now, this is point number nine. By bionic, I don't mean uh, uh, as a child, I used to watch a, a, a series uh, on television channels called Colonel Steel, Steve Austin, a six million dollar man or seven million dollar man, which was a sequence. A, a space astronaut uh, loses his arm in an accident and is fitted with a bionic arm how he has superhuman strength. I'm not talking about a, a metal arm here. I'm talking about a statistical model. Why should your trading system have a statistical component to it? Because it takes away the emotions from the trading system, the subjectivity from the trading system and relies purely on objectivity or rationale and logic. So this is point number nine, which every trading system must have. Secondly, the last point, it must have techniques for computing time versus price and price versus time. You know, if I was to tell you that a stock XYZ trading at 10 rupees is going to go to a point uh, 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 in price at say 15 rupees, you would think that I have given you a secret or a tip of making 50% return. I have actually told you nothing. You know why? Because I have not told you the time frame. If you are going to go in this stock from 10 bucks to 15 bucks over the next 10 years, you are better off keeping your money in a fixed deposit. So what I forgot or deliberately omitted was the marriage between time and price. This is called the time and price continuum. If your trading system forgets how to compute profits in hours, in days, in weeks, months and years, it's told you nothing. It's given you nothing at all. Remember anchoring and the three things that a trading system is supposed to do. Maximum amount of profits, minimum amount of time and with least amount of risk. So I hope I've covered all the aspects that you need to create a fantastic trading system. And this answers your queries of those specific viewers of my videos who are looking out to become better traders. I assure you, I'll be recording more on this in my future videos. On this reassuring note, I bid, I bid goodbye to you in this video, not before uh, uh, requesting you to click like on this video if you liked what you saw and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to receive alerts for fresh videos. In the comments section, do let me know what you think about this video and what you'd want me to record next. I'll try and accommodate as many requests as far as possible. Help me reach out to fellow like-minded traders who are looking for a 360 degree approach, behavioral finance and uh, knowledge based investments and trading systems by referring my video to your family and friends. Goodbye for now. Take very good care of yourself, your health, your family, friends, investments and trades. Have a very, very profitable day ahead. Vijay Bambuani signing off for now. Thank you for watching me. Do not forget to subscribe 
to my free email newsletter, Fast Profits Daily, and get my free guide, How to Trade Markets Like a Pro.